I was alone in a room for three years. Solitary confinement is torture. Can you imagine living in a space so small that you can reach out and touch both walls with your hands? Can you imagine that you're there for a month, a year, or a decade even? I was kept in solitary confinement for three years. My cell would get so quiet that I couldn't hear my own heartbeat. In the summer, it became so hot that the walls started to sweat. At night, the light stayed on, making it difficult to get a night of sleep on a one inch thick mattress. But none of this compared to the agony of not having someone to laugh with or to hug. My only human contact was a correction officer who fed me cold food through a metal slot in my cell door. My last meal came at 4.30 p.m. and breakfast wasn't until 7 a.m. Depression and thoughts of suicide followed and until this day, I'm uncomfortable in small spaces. On any given day in America, 100,000 people are currently held in cells the size of a parking lot where they are locked in for 23 hours a day with little to no meaningful human contact. And in this era of mass incarceration, solitary confinement is the tool by which our society controls its prisoners. We place people in these boxes alone without adequate medical care, anger management, mental health or substance abuse treatment, then expect them to integrate seamlessly into our society. We should do better and we can do better. Prisons are there to take away a person's liberty, but solitary confinement strips them of their humanity. There are alternatives which are not only humane, but also uphold and protect prisoners' dignity and worth. The HALT Act provides for residential rehabilitation units where people have seven hours out of cell time instead of one. They receive treatment and educational services and most importantly, can have valuable human interaction. If we shift our focus towards rehabilitation, we will not only reduce our prison population, but give people the tools to live meaningful and successful lives. Welcome to your cell. You're gonna be here for 23 hours a day. You are going to undergo many different kinds of reactions. 